The future is closer than you think. Thomas Broberg, building safe cars specifically for older drivers. It's research with implications for everyone. We're all getting older, that's a fact. Part of my work here is to do my own research, and that specifically relates to senior drivers and the behavioral aspects of senior drivers. In order to be able to design preventive safety systems for the future. So this is sort of my retirement fund. <laughs> That's what caught my interest. To understand how we drive differently as we age, Broberg studied collision statistics for senior citizens. In general, senior drivers are not overrepresented in collisions. There is one exception, and that is complex traffic scenarios like intersection. He's using eye motion sensors to try to understand how pattern recognition is different for older eyes and brains. And he hopes to use that knowledge to benefit everyone. What behavioral pattern do we need to consider and what would be the best way in the future to assist not only the senior drivers, but all drivers, but specifically the senior drivers in these situations. Broberg hopes to build systems that support drivers in all sorts of complex situations by building sophisticated positioning systems right into the cars. Look, Mom, no hands. While the driver would stay in charge, the car itself could constantly be helping out. This car uses a GPS system to monitor the car's position between the lane markings. With that, we can control the steering to keep the car in the proper lane. But this would be no ordinary GPS. Satellites could track your position to the inch and feed that data directly into your car's onboard guidance system. We can have more guidance systems, more autonomous systems, taking them through uh, complex scenarios. In the future, uh, technologies like this will, will, will assist uh, not only the senior drivers, but all drivers. In the future, Thomas Broberg thinks senior drivers may even look forward to a second childhood. When I retire, I hope to have a car that makes me the driver I was when I was at the peak of capabilities. A car that could be my additional eyes, ears, and motions to steer me out of situations when they occur and break me out of situations when they occur, and more importantly, to make me feel safe and secure when I get into new scenarios where I've never been before. That is to help me increase my mobility rather than decrease my mobility.